モグラを追う八神たちに松金組の包囲網が狭まっていく1年前海藤の破門をきっかけに塗り替えられた松金組内部の勢力図だが全ては仕組まれていた裏社会の掟に翻弄されるカムロ町の男たちいつかその流れに一矢報いようと彼らはあがき続ける。Chapter 4 Skeletons in the Closet Ah,、uh, a tracksuit. No, Higashio. Oh, my, none of this will tote me to no one. Ah, yeah. 自分はそんなならなんでまだターボーがうろちょろしてんだよてめえがなってねえからなめられてんだろうがおおガッなおさべりウェットパンチいるとよ事務所が窮屈でいけねえぜ。うん。<笑>ずっとうだうだ機嫌悪いし。あ<笑>死ねトジョーカイケー、マツガネで銃撃一人死亡か死んだのはクリモトってクミノフルカムダナガネダマデカタギニモケガニングアテテルクリモトいやお前は知らねえかもな別に目立つやつじゃない。That's one less person to be friends with, though. 犯人は自称会社員。That's fine with me. その場で現行犯逮捕。そいつは、教霊会の送り込んだ鉄砲玉だ。間違いないのかうん。ゆうべ東から聞いたんだ。Because he's bald, isn't he? この間俺らに銃向けてたあいつが。<笑>そう言ってやるなよ。あいつの話じゃ。犯人は栗本の体にまず弾を四発でとどめに両目を撃ち抜いた、はあ、目を要するに教霊会からモグラへの報復だだがこうなると松金組どころか登場会本家も黙ってね教霊会との報復合戦になるかああ今のカムロ町は相当やべえぞ東もそう言ってた。Okay。So we need to go talk to Higashi。Uh oh, that's right。I have a message from Sana in here。Uh。Trying to remember if there was anything that I needed to。Do before I continue because。Trying to be consistent with where I ended the main story episode with what I did with the side story stuff is hard to keep track of, especially with the large gaps that I've been taking between this game, which I need to stop doing because I'm forgetting everything that's happening and how to play slowly over time, as you usually do when you don't play. You may, Jugeki no Tokiwa, Higashi, Jimushoni, Tarashi. 
あいつんとこならまた何か情報が入ってきてるかもな。Okay, so he's on the arcade. Makes sense. But yeah, I hope you guys have had a good Christmas and a happy new year. As of right now, it is the evening of the. Okay, I need to reword that because that was about to sound really awkward. Right now, it's the evening of the second. I didn't change that at all.、Hmm? Why is Hoshinokun calling me? Okay, so hold that thought. Hello? This is Yagami. Yagami san! Yagami san! You've gotta help me! Oh god, the voice is. Ah! Okay. Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office! Eh? What do you mean? Yes! Something terrible happened! You've gotta get down here! Ah.、Uh. Alright, I'll be right there. God, I just want to get my holiday greetings out, man. Ah,、uh, but yeah. The last thing I did was finish up the. the,、uh, end of a life Beat Saber level for the channel. So, hey, that was very exciting. And after that, pretty much went on break for the holidays. Up until now. So, yeah. Saw the new Spider movie during that time. And for that matter, I went through the entire. Oh, God! No! No! Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the minimap. Ah,、oh, okay. Well, I'll cut this out from the main episode and put it into the side episode, but i see you guys soon. Okay, so we're done with the map bomber side case now, and I also did one more side case as well because it was kind of time sensitive in a sense, where you can only do it during the day. Oh, that's still there. Okay. But yeah. Now that that's done, let's go back to Hoshino. Hoshino? Yeah. And see what's up. Hoshino kun? What's going on? Um. What is going on? Eh? Wait. What the. You did it. So admit it already. Huh? I told you! I didn't do it! There's no point in lying.、Ah. Hey. Yagami san. Yagami san, you came! Yagami kun. Oh god. Yagami kun?、Oh. Maf Mafuyu's here too. Oshino kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious! As you can see, Saru san and Mafuyu san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. <laughs> uh. Hoshino kun, what does Saru san think you did?、Yeah. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake.、Mm? Her cake? Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge.、Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was some Goto Gatsu. It was a special cake, event cake that I waited in line for hours to get.、Eh? Okay, it's hard to do Sari san's dead, deadpan voice while trying to get out. Huh? Is this really happening right now? In that case, why is Mafuyu involved? I'm not! I just happened to drop in on a work related issue. And you got dragged into this. Mm hmm? Sari's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshin kun is really the only one who could have had done the deed. That's why Mufuyu is prosecuting the case for me.、Uh. Prosecuting? Is that how it is? <laughs> nah. Okay, how about Why is Hoshino kun the most likely suspect? Nah. Hoshino kun was the one, was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake last seen? I went home around 8 pm last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in.、Mm. Then, presuming Hoshino kun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 pm and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Hi. Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry. So, I think that rules out any external parties as the culprit. I see. 
Now that would be kind of a shitty thing to do on the culprit's part if they just broke in and just ate your food and left. <laughs> I think. And who ever locked this the office this morning then? Get the sense they got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu san arrived. Saturday san was the last to arrive. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. Question those tests. Oh god. But that would mean Gendis Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in that office. Yeah. No way. Gendis Sensei is a Japanese pizza man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. Uh. That's your justification? I know, I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if that's true. Yeah. You're up against the wall, Hoshino kun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Mafuyu san, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide from your, your, your clients, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino kun. <laughs> Objection! You ask me, Mafuyu san. Uh, Mafuyu san is pretty suspicious too. <gasps> Excuse me? You just yell objection for. <laughs> <laughs> And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mufuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's just say it was gone for about 15 minutes. What were you doing in there? Mufuyu-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? Well, why would I? This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. <gasps> huh? I don't think I didn't hear it. When you came in here this morning, <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yeah. Yes. You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figure you just peek in the fridge, and that's when you discover an exquisite little cake. You can help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Huh? Y yes. You are, as a matter of fact. Besides. A growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, you're out. Mm -hmm. I am? Please, take my case and defend me. If you don't, sorry son will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can make this one. お願いします. I'm counting on you. Uh... Okay, apparently this is really happening. So the first place a good lawyer starts is a crime scene. One of the rappers on the track. Justice is sweet. Do I include this in that? Well, yeah. I mean, wouldn't make sense to cut uh, this from the main story episode, so. Alright. Wait, wait! Is there a cat? Um. Haha! -ha. Hello! Oh, look, a cat. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're all set on that front, so the fridge. Oh, yes, you know? So this is the refrigerator where the crime happens. Oh. Hmm? The ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? Yeah. Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Mm. Then why did it melt? That's interesting. Huh. Ah, uh, you know, okay, I remember now. Uh, wait. Mondo. Oh. This is Sari Sun's desk. It's immaculate. Yeah. Well, look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is the opposite of one of hers. So her clean desk is actually pretty motivating. Uh... Motivating, huh? Is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating you? Yeah. What are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're just an open book. Come on, Yagami san. Don't tease. Now we didn't do anything about the uh Oh, yes, his desk. Okay. I'm saying that the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Aye. We take out the trash every day now on the rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Gendes Sensei. Eh? Huh? You and Gendes Sensei, Pitchison? <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sorry, son made him do it. Gendes Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, would you even consider the people who had to take the trash out? And then he said he started pitching in on the trash duty. 
Uh, I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to them. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, the other trash cans are empty too. It seems Gendis doesn't take trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Uh. Well, this kick must have had a wrapper. Is there anything anywhere else that could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it sh could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen. Uh. Let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. No wrappers. Well, it looks like we got some milk cartons. They've been washed out neat out and neatly compact. Neatly compacted. Those are Saudi sons. Those are Saudi sons milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever's on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Saudi sons go to anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. Oh. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much smoke, is she? I kinda doubt it. Maybe she do them out for some reason. Hi, Mafulio. <laughs> Alright, is there anyone else in the office? Uh, ah, uh, nah. Oh boy. Uh, look at this mini court. Yagami san, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Eh? The hearing? Are we really gonna start? Uh, are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Mafu, what should I say? Prosecutor Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragging this far. Might as well see it through. Onegaishimasu. The court is now in session for defendant Issei Hyoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Uh, well, the prosecution is. Oh my nose. The prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino kun is the only viable culprit. In your proof, the defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter argument to this uh, to that assertion. Mm -hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I had been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami -kun. Right, Yagami kun? You can corroborate the statement, I take it? Mm -hmm. Me? Mm. If you really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is. Uh it's not clean, maybe even too clean. Is that is that it? Yeah, I don't see a missing wrapper here. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Hi. Yes. Yenin Sensei was the first one in the office today, and that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means, if Mafuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. The sense were all confirmed that the trash can is empty. Uh. Oh, we have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Yeah. Not it, sorry san I can present a counter argument here. Hi. The court will hear the defense's objection. Rod wrapper may not be in the trash can. We can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable, Yagami kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. New evidence. While you were searching the room, I refer my own investigation, naturally. That's when this document on Sari san's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Eh? Relevance, prosecutor? It seems there was a blackout last night, captured from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. I do remember again this sensei saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Uh. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent, but I had something urgent coming up, so I left and forgot all about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that means. Precisely! If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been it's been unseasonably warm. Mm. And if anyone ate it, they know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right! Then there is no way anyone would go through with the with eating the whole thing. Mm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. 
and there's only one span of time when that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. <sighs> oh, hey, wait! I'm afraid so, Hoshinokun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshinokun, it can only be you. <laughs> That was, that was from the heart. Oh my god. Uh, objection. Oh! Objection! Excuse me? This is offense. Have further arguments. Hey. Yes, I think it's too early to pronounce the verdict. There's one more possibility. If Ace Attorney has taught me anything, is never give up on your client. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge. <laughs> Although the cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the cake. <laughs> and I have evidence to prove it. What else disappeared from the fridge besides the cake? This. The milk Sari san put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Yinda Sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim himself. Uh, herself. Mm -hmm. I'm not following, Yagami-san. Oh, Yagami. Let's consider. What would drive Gendo Sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right. That's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There is one particular piece of evidence. There is one particular piece of evidence points to the another typo that points to the logic behind his actions. Power outage. We we'll just talk about it. The power outage? Oh, no. Defense? Does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to Moke left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Gendis Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the Moke to have gone bad? He probably would oh. throw it away. Oh. And then. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the true culprit that ate Salyus Khan's cake is... The power outage! No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe this. Uh. You're, you're implying. Can this say do away the spoiled cake? Yeah. That's about the sum of it. Sari, sa Sari said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The, out the outage uh, slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Gendon Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying, I kind of jumped to conclusions. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wow, find a crown in here. What business you buy, young me and my Uh, welcome back, Gendo Sensei. Say, who left the ca that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of all days, it's rude to make people throw away spoil, throw away spoil on food, you know. <laughs> mm. I believe the words were. Don't you ever even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Your words, right, Shirosaki-kun? <laughs> well, happen to do with all that spoiled food. I understand the meaning all too well now. I... I... I'm so sorry. Arigatou Thank you, Yakumi-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I send Sari-san to kill duty for one month's strength, starting tomorrow. <laughs> there are no words to express my remorse. As my defense- oh wow, I'd like you to have this, yakumi kun Thanks. I got paid too. I've gotta say though, I'm pretty shocked. Sari-san stays cool under pressure, but I've seen a sweet skin involved. I have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I couldn't appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. <sighs> I'll work on that. 
Case closed, I guess. A pretty, a pretty trip of the day for the criminal justice system. <laughs> Kamurocho is pretty tense right now, not thanks to the Masagami, fa Masagami family and the Kore clan at each other's throats. Better ask Agashi about it. Oh yeah, that is kind of happening right now, isn't it? Huh. Well, I guess that's a detour that we can afford to take. Uh, because we just need to talk to him. Nothing urgent is happening at the moment. Alright, we're here. I was starting to remember what I was talking about before I got... Before I interrupted myself with a side case, but I had no luck. So hopefully it'll come back to me soon, but for now, let's just go inside the back office and talk to you, Higashi. Oh? Yagami! What もう頭もお前に構ってる場合じゃねえし。昨夜の銃撃事件のせいでか。え。まあ。その夕べから松金組は大変だね。ああ。事務所は札で今向こうの難波釣ったのが多分。ええ。ハムラの頭だ。うん。昨日は、頭も<笑> あら、<笑> あ、片木が極道に狙われたら人たまりもねえぞ。まあ、俺が新谷の身内なら一言警告してやるとこだ。オッケー、いや。だ、だ、さ、まあ、and we don't have any way to actually call people in this game, so... Yep, there we go. Kim-san? What? Oh! You're a good guy. You're a good guy. Who's that? 
You didn't tell me where. You forgot to tell me where. Shin Chan is gonna have to wait. I need to go to save Kim san. Oh no, it begins. Okay. Hopefully they tweak this in um in the PS5 version of this game, but okay. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got this. Hey. Oh, nice. That was uh, nice and fast. It does remind me. Uh, there's already a lot of stuff I can buy now. Yep. I do not remember what I said I wanted to get next. So let's just look at this again and see. I'll we'll knock down right before getting knocked down. Let's get that. Yeah, that'll be all. Alright, that's a beef though. Ooh! There he is! Kim! Then why did you remember? そっちで相変わらず抜かつく顔だな。優等生やろ。でもわかりました。景品同盟の本田レンジ。よろしく頼むぜ。本田、お前も一緒にこいつを締めるぜ。一緒に行くぞ、てめえ。I think I can take all you guys on, yeah? <laughs> but you know what? One on one sign with me, too. What are you doing? I'm going to get you. 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 Oh, I just not remembered. There was like DLC announced for Yakuza Like a Dragon with Yagami in it, I believe. I think it was DLC. I didn't actually watch uh, the video of the announcement. Oh. -oh. I might have tried to tiger drop him. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, let's uh, try this again. The one combo was enough to... Oh god. Man, what a good... Uh... Ah. Done from this uh, guard break and finish it. There you go. It could be like that. In order to actually get the seed action off. Alright, let's try this again. Haha! <laughs> Wanna try it again? Oh god! Ooh, that hurt it. I like the fact that your arm blows like a uh, god hand, though. That's cool. Ha ha! Danta, uwasaijo da. Saiko da na oi. Kotchi wa tsumara ne kenka ni tsuki awasare te unzari da ya. So ga? Ore ni wa tanoshinderi yo ni mieta zo. I don't need my screen for you. Let's tell you I was having fun. Daga. <laughs> Alright, 
行け喧嘩より優先するもんなんてなかったんじゃないのか<笑>あんたが捕まっちまったんじゃ喧嘩を楽しめねえから you could always come with me? ヤガミさん逃げましょう早くあああおい今日は楽しかったぜまたやろうなヤガミさんよ You know what? I like you. You're a pretty、uh, decent guy, even if you are just like a meathead. I'm not sure if you're a good guy. 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 I'm not sure if y o u r Well, don't worry, don't make you know them by the end of this game, Yagami. Honda, so stay, Sakakiba, Koga, Karela was so there. Habats of Motte, Okuno Bukao, Stagai, the Sodis. Sumari Anna no art of Tarimo Yute Wakiba. So no Nakademo, Kogahawa, Dome no Nakademo, Saida no Habats to Kikimas, Buki no Mitsubai, the Taksan, Okaneo Kasei de Rashi, the Takara. ヤクザも彼らには手が出せない。小賀か。そいつまで出てきたらちょっと厄介だな。すみません。私のせいで、ヤガミさん、あいつらの中でますます有名になってしまったと思います。まあいいさ。ヤガミさん、気をつけてください。ケブさん、カネさん、さっきザオさんのバージョンフライング。I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? If I had to deal with the Kaihin gang all the time too, I would be <laughs> as well. And that's how it's over. Not for that levels.、Uh, depending on where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more Kaihin gang members swarming the streets than usual. When a threat level is present, your chance of encountering Kaihin gang members is higher. Powerful Kaihin gang leaders will show up in the city as long as the threat level is present. Yep. And I get the feeling that one is about to pop up as soon as I leave this area. Uh, I would love to be proven、uh, wrong though. Wait, I have to go back to the law office. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have some mop soaked in. What? Herbal oils to prevent roaches. Wait, does that work? I thought that would attract them more. Let's go another way. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was mentioning how I, was,、uh, how I watched Sp the new Spider Man movie. And for that matter, the entire MCU in the span of a month. Uh, in, back in December. Part, part of the reason why I wasn't doing anything other than just working on、um, End of a Life. But yeah. I will say that probably watching that much Marvel in such a short amount of time was probably not the best idea. <laughs> Because for. For a brief period, I, I, all I had in my head was just like quips. But, anyways. I don't. Oh, is Shintani Sensei not here? Beats me. What do you need him for? Just wanted to ask him about something. I'll try back later. Hold on a second. Hmm? Yeah, I mean. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani comes back? Are you bored? Well, I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> Good. Then I've got the perfect job for you. I have a client who needs a bodyguard, and I want you to fill the post, Yagami.、Hmm? A bodyguard? What kind of clients are you thinking these days? Oh, it's just a messy custody battle that's going to court. I'm representing the mother. Her name's Azusa Otaki, and her daughter is Karin. They're set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I ask you to protect them until they get there. Really? And who do they need protection from? Apparently, the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she's gone to a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So, you're giving her a bodyguard just because she's ex to Yakuza? Isn't that kind of an overreaction? This poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Notaki. He might even come to it, but can you protect him from him if it does? Hey! Alright, seems pretty clear. Who knows when Shintani Sensei will be back anyway, so I guess I'll help. Sorry, I'll pay you. By the way, have you heard of Shunei Oka? 
Shu Shune Oikawa. Lawyer? Oikawa? No, I don't think I have. He's representing the father, but he's formerly one of mine. Eh? Huh? He worked here. Uh. Yeah. He was gone before you started. One of those elite types who passed the bar real early in life. He wanted to win his cases by any means necessary. Even bribery or blackmail. Yeah? I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good. He had some real potential. And that's why I came down hard on him about changing his ways. But he didn't give a damn. <sighs> In the end, I had no choice. I fired him. Now maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear. The man only lives to beat me now. Had I revenge for firing him or something? Yeah. But living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. The Circle of Law. Anyway, you know where this mother and her daughter are now. They were here not long ago, actually. She said they had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. But being her legal counsel, she doesn't seem to want to take my advice. Mm. Yeah, that's just the way it goes sometimes, unfortunately. Sounds like a lovely family. Any idea where they might have gone? She said something about getting some clothes to make themselves presentable in court. So somewhere close, huh? Alright, I'll go fetch her. Well, find her. I saw her head peeking up over the um, camera. I thought Yoshino was floating for a second there, but oh wow. He's just tall from this angle. I don't suppose there's anything new, right? Yeah, I need a reputation level to unlock those. Wait, he is taller than me. Huh. Wait. No, we're the same height. Yeah. Alright, let me eat something real quick too. Ooh, wow. I oh, am yeah, almost dead. To get all this life back. Because I will use the extract since I just have an infinite amount of those, but I do not want to deal with the beeping sound right now. Okay, sushi, uh, sushi sets are the way to go for healing. Alright, someone we're clothing. Uh, there's only one place in this town that I can think of for clothing, and that's La Marche. And I guess. Whatchamacallit, Don Quixote too. Maybe I should put together a video where I just talk about my experience with uh, going through the entire MCU for the first time. Because that would be interesting, I think. Though I wouldn't do anything but just talk about what I thought about all the films and like the overall story arc for the Infinity Saga. But you know what? That's fine. Oh, hey, it marked it for me. Okay. Is the wife I'm supposed to be protecting here? Oh. Yeah, that must be her. I know. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you uh, Azusa Otaku? <laughs> I am. Who are you? I'm Yagami. Genda sensei asked me to look after you today. Oh, Yagami san? Yes, Genda sensei did mention you. Well, nice to meet you. Mm. Is your daughter around? <laughs> Karen? You didn't see her? Yeah. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Really? She was here just a second ago. I got so focused on the clothes I guess I didn't realize. Is she lost? That's not good. She's an easy target for the husband if she's alone. What, what should I do? I'll go look for her. Stay here in case she comes back. <gasps> uh, okay. Maybe someone around here saw something. I shouldn't ask around. Isn't this supposed to be a uh, custody trial? She is not painting herself oh. a good picture by losing her daughter while he's not shopping. Okay. Um, no marker on the map and it says to just search for her, right? I guess I'll just either ask around at hangout spots or see if I can't just find her running around the city blindly. So since we're here, let's start with the coffee shop. Hey, what's a good word? Oh, aren't you Yagami-san? Yeah, you heard about the Alps champion the manager's always talking about. Is he now? Yeah, we were just talking about the challenge and how none of us, including the challengers, ever want to do it. Our manager's a real coffee nut, so it's a pretty hard so it's pretty hard to keep up with him. He is right there. <laughs> I see. 
But I guess that worked in his favor when that Yakuza looking dude stopped by the other day. Yeah, that was a tricky tri uh, situation. Here, have a seat Yagami-san. Coffee's on me today. Oh. Wow. Coffee, free of charge. How nice. Speaking of coffee, there's this brand that that my mom has gotten recently that I really like. It's uh, from Thailand. I think it's like Phoenix coffee or something like that. It's like this little blue bag. And it's pretty creamy, I will, ame uh, will admit. Or rather, it's not creamy because that's because of the milk that I add. But No, uh, it's very smooth and I really like the way that it goes down. And I find it kind of funny how it really does kind of feel like to me I did like, oop, one of those like coffee tasting sessions, but for something that my mom got from a relative in New York. But okay, at least I think she got it from New York. That's the, what I saw in the package, but anyways, excuse me. Hey, you can just barge in here. Yeah, now get lost. I think their voices were searched actually, sorry. Oh. Um, I guess there are other places I... I'm sorry, I just ran right past you without realizing. <laughs> but, uh, let me go around this way. In that case... Still busy talking about coffee, but I just did not see the man just as, like, laid out on the floor. And, oh my goodness, this swing. Okay. Funny thing is, is... Okay, it was marked on the map. I feel like it won't be long either before I crack and this actually made me took a long way around. Yeah, but it won't be long before I crack and like start buying some health upgrades because after getting mowed down by uh, Renji, not Renji, Leiji over there, it kinda figures that either I have to not get caught in attacks like that or I need health to survive through it. Now, do you guys have any info? If it ain't Mr. Miracle Man, the guy who saved my life. Eh, I was just in the right place at the right time. I'm glad to see you're up and about, Kondo-san. I donated blood to you, you know. That means you owe me. That's a donation, not a debt. Besides, I can pay you back even if I try. <laughs> well, we'd always return the favor if Fukuhara-san ever gets hurt. Yeah, and with interest on top of that. High interest. Jeez. Well, only I knew my donor was off for more blood than he was willing to give. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's not it either. Oh! There she is! So I was kind of right that she wouldn't have gone too far, but... What, she, what are you doing? Ooh. Her. She was like Kanin chan in this photo. Nah. You're Kanin Otaki, aren't you? Who are, who are you, mister? My name's Yagami. Didn't this say hired me to look after you and your mother, and she lost track of you. Oh. So mom suddenly cares about me? I'm big enough to do what I want, so leave me alone. Uh, uh I can't do that. Oh. And mom and dad want to get divorced? Fine. I wish I could just live by myself. Mm. Is she really that nonchalant about the divorce? What? Conan? What are you doing here? Oh. oh! Daddy! I was looking for you! You were? You sure you should be doing that? Your mother would be pretty upset if she found out. Hmm. I don't care! Hmm. For a former Yakuza who'd do anything to get his daughter back, he doesn't seem too desperate. Oh no. Um, Dad? I wanted to give you something. Huh? Karen, stop! What do you think you're doing? Why don't we off like that? Yeah. Huh? I told you I was going for a walk and you said okay! Uh. Well, well, I must not have heard you right. What? Come on, Azaza. You wouldn't want to go do uh, with taking full custody of Karin and this is voice? I couldn't be more serious. Karin would never reach her full potential with you around. I'm gonna raise her right. Uh? Like you have any right to say that. I'm her father and I... Come on, Karen. Cotton, we need to get we need to be getting back to Genda Sensei. Oh. I told you. Get a divorce for all I care. Yeah, I can be just staring intently. 
What do you think you're doing, young lady? I said, let's go. Yeesh. She sure as hell doesn't hold anything back. Ooh. Kind of trying to do something away, didn't she? A ticket to her circus. Is this what she was trying to give her father? I'm gonna hold on to this for her until she's calmed down. Though. I'm gonna go back to the office, I think. I better get ahead of them. I better get after them. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on now. Ooh. Oh. Huh? You? Mm -hmm. Why aren't you Khan and Chad's father? Why are you here? <laughs> this place hasn't changed at all. Still in desperate need of a cleaning crew. Oikawa. What the hell do you want? Oikawa? Okay, no. <laughs> Oikara? Then probably. That's the father's attorney, if I recall. And Gendan Sensei's former apprentice. <laughs> no need to be prickly, Gendan Sensei. I'm only here to have an offer on the table. Nani? An offer? A settlement. Don't you think these two are capable of an amicable custody decision outside the courts? <sighs> of course, that would be to everyone's better fit, but... Huh? Hey, I have no intention of handing my daughter over to him! Oh really? Perhaps you'll reconsider after you see this. Uh. Ah. And this? How did you get those photos, Oki Oigawa? My client suspected his wife would be, might be cheating on him and hired a private uh, private investigator. Cheating? That guy was just a salesman. It was nothing lurid. He offered to buy me a drink and I accepted. It was completely innocent. <sighs> I'm afraid lies don't hold much weight in court, ma'am. Here's a slightly more decisive photo. What? What's going on, Otaki-san? <laughs> what is this? I don't know anything about this. I went home after a few drinks, I swear. <laughs> I'm afraid the photos is a clear contradiction of that, ma'am. Is your memory foggy? According to the PI, you were rather drunk. <laughs> That's... Damn. I admit, I wasn't expecting photos like this to turn up. No! This is a setup! It has to be... A setup. It can not be a coincidence that this man appeared right before my trial. And I'm sure his contact info is bogus too. Besides, I can hold my liquor just fine. And I found it strange that I felt so drunk that night. I can only imagine that I was drunk. This is some kind of elaborate trap. And that's a triple scheme to pull on a guy. But I suppose it will work on a woman too. Would Oigawa stoop this low? Again. There's just an option on the table that you may want to consider before we go to trial. With evidence like this, I have my doubts your client would, would I have my doubts your client would win the custody battle. And if you prove infidelity, it would even end up asking for damages. What are you getting at? Spit it out. <laughs> my client is not heartless, Kinda Sensei. Give him full custody, and there won't be any damages to pay. As sturdy as you've always been, Oigawa. I mean, I'm going to guess the salesman was your plan. Just give my client custody. All she needs to do is sign the newest draft of the divorce papers. Don't you understand, Gunda Sensei? You've already lost. Checkmate. Lost? Trials aren't conducted by pieces on the board, Oigawa. <laughs> So says the king about to be toppled. What's the point of a battle if you aren't about to win? Please, Kenda Sensei! I didn't do this! You believe me, don't you? I want to, but... If this wasn't set up, maybe I could trace it back to some evidence. Seems like it's worth putting in the time. Hello. I'm stepping out for a bit, Kenda Sensei. Don't let anyone sign any papers just yet. Mm -hmm. Yakumi. Alright.
I should start with the love hotel this woman claims she never went to. It's probably in the hotel district. I can use the photo as reference. I probably won't even need to use it as a reference because there's only so few hotels in the area. Oh! There's just a giant red circle telling me where to be once again. Now sometimes this game likes to pick and choose where to look for our, what should I call it? The main story. This is the love hotel where that picture was supposedly taken. Can I help you, sir? Are you here alone? Oh, yeah. You work here? Mm. Yeah. I'm the receptionist. Oh, I see. You're the contact, right? Mm -hmm. The contact? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter who you are. Give me 100,000 yen and I'll delete the footage. Ah, oh, I think you must have the wrong guy. I'm Yagami from Yagami Detective Agency. Mm -hmm. I are a detective. Uh. Yeah, I'm on a case right now. And I'd like to ask a few questions if I could. Damn it. Forget I said anything. I gotta hurry. Boy. Hey, old oh, geezer. Oh, oh, okay, probably uh, a little bit higher. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, there you are. You're late. Ooh. Wait, this guy. Ah. The man in the picture. Uh -huh. What do you mean you haven't deleted the security footage yet? I already paid you. You said you would delete if I gave you the money. <laughs> Hey, sorry. All the buckets seem to have holes in them. Better make it double. Don't fuck with me, old man. You delete that shit right now or I'll fucking kill you. Oh, got my voice. Ah. <coughs> hey, you know Asuza Otaki, don't you? Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? Just tell me if you were really here with Asuza Otaki. Is this business about the security footage related by any chance? Uh, who can say? You can. And judging by the way you're panicking, I'd say that footage has some incriminating evidence on you. <laughs> Oikawa told you to make sure it got deleted, but the deal was this old man with this old man started falling through. That about some that about the summer things. Sh shut up! You're gonna get, a, get if you're gonna get in my way, I'll kill you. Not Takumo. Oh boy, okay, uh... How do I chop again? Yeah. That's a one hit. Come on, get up. That's two hits. Now all that's left is to... Where is it? Um... Ah, I don't have any. Oh, that's right. There was like a fight at some point that really made me go use all my um, items. Okay, um, in that case, what do I want to do? I'm probably gonna die before this goes off. That, that's fine. Just a simple throw, and that'll be that. <laughs> uh. Hey, you said you hadn't deleted the footage yet, right? Ah. Yeah, that's right. I figured it would be worth a nice chunk of change, and I was right. Fine, let me buy it off of you then. <laughs> huh? You mean it? How much are you offering? Depends on the contents. If what I need is on there, I'll pay you the full 100k. <laughs> Oh, then we have a deal. Let me get it for ya. The coast is clear. We're fine. I want to see about 10 minutes of the footage from 8.27 p.m. You have that? Yeah, it's all here. Hmm. Is there a cat in one of these? That is definitely not her. <laughs> oh, there's only... Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah! That woman he's with isn't Asuza-san. And the timestamps line up 
So how does she has a shot taken at the same time since they have two different women? Must the photo digitally altered? The woman wore the same clothes, they just need to swap out her faces. Her face. Yeah, this is a pretty clear proof that Oikawa is using dirty evidence. Gah! Oh my! Uh, hey! Ah! Man, you are dedicated. Damn it! I think the hard drive is toast! Uh? That's what you get for fucking with me, old man! Ah uh, ah! Uh, uh. There are no copies, right? If I find out you copied this, I really will kill you! No! no that was the only copy! <laughs> <sighs> well, looks like I win. That tape will never see the light of day. Jesus! Damn you, Oikawa! Yagami! Yagami! Anything to report? Eh. Oh well, yeah, doing that old man voice earlier as like fried me doing any other type of like deep gravity voice now. The photo of your client going to the hotel with that man. It was fabricated. Mm -hmm. What? Oikawa, you! <laughs> I won't take those, these baseless accusations lying down. Do you have any proof? <laughs> no. The PCA was on got destroyed. Someone went to some pretty extreme measures to eliminate it. Then <sighs> this is the worst discussion. Oikawa, did you bring this photo here in advance of the trial because you were afraid it could be proven false? <laughs> Please, listen to yourself. Paired with your client's hazy memory, this photo is both valid and decisive evidence. <laughs> and now judge in his right mind will take your client's side with photo evidence like this in my hands. <clears throat> So, Otaki-san, what will it be? Pay for damages as well as let this photo drag you through the mud in court? <laughs> Otaki-san, please, you need to consider this carefully. There's no way I can win, right? If I'm going to get hit with damages and become a tabloid laughingstock, I better just sign the paperwork now. Ma'am. Let's not be rash. We should at least discuss your options first. <sighs> enough, Gender Sensei. I've had enough. In the end, you can help me. Huh? I've already made up my mind. Huh. And now my client will have full custody. Looks like I win, Gender Sensei. <laughs> I've finally beaten you. <clears throat> <sighs> Try whatever you want on this stupid paper. Oh. I'm gonna move out on my own. You two can fight all you want. What? Garden, you do no such thing. Don't you want to live with your father? You know I me. Mean? You don't even consider the daughter's feeling in this, yakumi son. Ooh, uh, well, yeah, well, whatever. Huh? But she ran out with the kid. What I'm saying is, do you think they've even discussed her wishes before hiring lawyers? Mm. Well, she's only enough for her opinion to matter. Actually, I think I know exactly how she feels. Nani? Really? After Oikawa busted in, I didn't have any time to bring this up. But I have evidence that I think Show points to what Ka Kaden wants. Hmm. I want her father to have this. Okay. What is that, Yagami-san? Yagami. Kanin Chan wanted her father to have this, but she ended up tearing it up instead. Nani? Wait, she was trying to give this to him. Hi. Yes. And now I bet this is a representation of how she really feels. Mm hmm? Tickets. To the circus. Three of them. Eh? The number's significant, I think. <laughs> I see. Thanks, Yakami. I think there may be an amicable solution to this after all. Mm hmm? Amicable, huh? No. Kanin Chan. Is there something you want to say to your parents? <laughs> I don't know. I understand you are trying to give this to your father. 
You did you just magically repair that? There are two tickets here. This is what she really wants, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Cannon? What are you getting at? Oh. I think I see. Yeah. I wanted the three of us to go to the circus again. <gasps> Don't you remember the last time we went? You guys were so mean to each other before. But after we got back from the circus, you were fine. You were smiling and laughing. I thought maybe if we went to the circus together again, it might work the same way. If that was the case, why did you tear up the tickets, Kanan-chan? <laughs> Th that's... You're holding back, aren't you? Oh. I'm... No. Kanan-chan, they're the only parents you'll ever have. If you ever have something important to say, don't swallow it. Get it off your chest, young lady. Say what you're feeling. How I really feel? <sighs> yes. There's no time like the present. If you don't, you'll come to regret it eventually. <laughs> Enough of this. We're past the point of reconciliation, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, right, mister. I have been holding something in. And, but what's the point? Even if I told you guys, you want to listen because you just want to get divorced. Conan, no, we'll listen. I don't want to live by myself. I want the three of us to live together. Oh. What's so hard about that? I don't want us to be apart. Conan. Knowing how your foot daughter feels, are you really past the point of reconciliation? Have the two of you even discussed the matter since Asazan and Khan left? I imagine you haven't. It's true, we haven't. Well, I suggest you start there. And if you still want to file for divorce, I'll be right here. We do need to consider our daughter in this. We've been rash. Yeah, as parents, we owe that to her. <laughs> That's that then. Looks like you've been dismissed, Oikawa. Hold on. Goodness, I'm saying, you can't have just abandoned this fight. I won't accept that. If there's no case, you don't get paid either, you know? Sounds like you still don't get it, Oikawa. Nani? Get what? Our job is to get the best, pos best result possible for our clients. We stand by them as they make life-changing decisions. If you're making choices based on your personal pocketbook or your pride, why do you deserve clients? Huh? What are you getting at? Listen, at the end of the day, if it would benefit the client, it's okay to lose a trial. Okay to lose? In what world? If winning the trial is all you're concerned about, you'll never be more than a mediocre lawyer at best. Fuck this! I'm not gonna stand here and let you lecture me! This isn't over. Not by a long shot. I won't accept this. Grant me, you still don't get it. Your son, is your voice and your best interests? She's already proven that she'll latch onto the first man she finds. But her lawyer is saying that she was that the guy was a setup. Hardly. Those are baseless accusations. There's no evidence to prove it. And your wife simply doesn't remember. You're going to accept that. Well. <laughs> No one in their right mind could, right? Your feelings about your wife hasn't really changed. Besides, do you really expect the two of you could get along just fine after this? Hardly. You're probably right, but still. Damn. Waikawa is too into preying on his insecurities. He's losing confidence in his uh, decision. <laughs> These pictures are as real as Earth's, as the Earth is round, though even that's debatable nowadays, unfortunately. You can't allow these people to cloud your path forward. Ushi. Excuse me, is Yagami san here? <laughs> ah, there you are. Finally found you, Yagami san. Hmm? Hmm? The receptionist from the Love Hotel. What are you doing here? Well, I looked at up your office and I didn't find you there. That is Yakuza looking dude. Told me I might find you here. And here you are. I know. That's great and all, but we're kind of in the middle of something here. Well, I had an offer for ya. 
think you said you wanted to die that day, huh? I did, but wasn't the PC destroyed? You said yourself there were no other copies. Right. And I say that again, and that blonde asshole was here to threaten me. <laughs> but the truth is, I did make a copy. Figured there might be a profit in it. <laughs> what? Must be pretty valuable, eh? 100 G's. You buying? Uh. Yes. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. You know that sensei? I need to borrow your computer. And cut me a check for 100k as a business expense, please. Nani? Whatever this is about better be worth the price, Yagami. Mm. What are you doing? Or maybe... What are you doing? There we go. Perfect. Yagami. Yagami. Care to, care, care to fill us in? Nah. Do you know what this is, Oikawa-san? You worked very hard to make sure no one ever saw it. Can it be? Afraid so. Evidence that you fabricated the photo. This is the security footage from the Love Hotel. Impossible! Yagami! Yagami, I think you owe us all an explanation. Uh, that, yeah. As you can see in the photo, it's the same timestamp as this video. But, no there's anything different about the woman. It's obviously impossible that he entered the hotel at the same time with two different women. Therefore, Oikawa's photo is bogus. It's a doctored. Nani? What? Oikawa, you stooped to forgery. You finally ducked yourself into a hole. Ah, uh, no, it's... What do you think would happen if this came to light in court? Why? You could use your license to prices. Wait, what? what? You could use your li license to practice. No, it's... <laughs> if you still want to go to trial, I'm willing, Oikawa, but it's your call. <laughs> Sounds to me like we'd start on a custody battle and end on a malpractice trial. <laughs> Damn the both of you! Ooh. Are you sure left in a hurry? <sighs> Stupid kid. So mature still. Oh god. Dad! Mom! We don't need this anymore, right? John and- Aww. You're right. We don't. Yagami. Thanks, Yagami. You really saved me this time. Nah. It was quite an honor seeing you be the kind of lawyer I always knew you were. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like Oikawa. You get it. You know, if you want to wear the badge again, I think we can make it work. You did some impressive work out there today. <laughs> <laughs> I did what I could do. As a detective. In fact, I learned something today. I don't have what it takes to be a good lawyer like you. I'll pass. <sighs> Damn. What is it about all my students that they become mediocre lawyers? <laughs> Maybe it's me. Hello. Uh, mediocre? You're helping me and the dad. Junjani, how long have you been back? And how long have you been sitting there? Long enough. <laughs> Looks to me like things were getting pretty rough, so I kept quiet. Wouldn't want to spoil the moment. Well, it's good timing all the same. Didn't you need Sunjani for something, Yagami? Ooh, okay. Uh, is it just gonna go back to game? Okay, continue. あんたの耳に入れときたい話がある。ちょうどいい。こっちも話があるんだ。え?来いよ。よ。よ。ニードタックトゥミー、ウィリングリー。ああ。オッケー。アイムトライングトゥシンクアバウトハウマッチオブディ
I guess it's mutual. せっかく無罪になった事件を蒸し返すなってよ。俺も同感だ。気分が悪い。俺が勝ち取った無罪に決地つける気か。あんたが勝ち取ったか。そうだよ。法廷に立ったのは俺だ。おかげでうちは今
in the next chapter, to be honest, because I want to keep progressing with the main story. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So, there'll be chapter 4, chapter 5, and then chapter 4 and 5 side stories after that. Uh, that's not the right way. Here we go. Oh, wait, is that a phaser on the ground? Oh god. No, it's a camera. Say geez. Or it just crashed his head in. Oh! But there's a get. No, that was, that was some riot. There's really not a lot of, like, uh, item specific speed actions in this game. Yep, there they are. おかげさまでな。ゆべ、松金組が撃たれた事件。何か情報は。それがあんまりねえんだよ。うん。大体お前らにも松金組に火がして妬むとはいいんだろ。耳が早いな。誰に聞いた。さっき海藤から。は何で
it's more easier to pick a time when they're not than it is to pick a time where they are. ああ、やらい。さあな。でもわざわざ関西から乗り込むんだ。でかい話だろうよ。で、その手の話には汚れ仕事がつきものだろう。どういう仕上げとか立ち逃せ。あとは政治的な根回しとか。カジヒラのそ
でやりすぎないように釘刺しに来たとかなるほどそれとも俺らの顔を見に来たか<笑>あいつに目つけられたら面倒になりそうだ,だ,だわどうする今夜は俺らも店じまいにするかいやその前に教霊会をもう少し調べたいうんなんでだよ今まで俺は連中がただ単にカムロ町の島を狙ってるだけだと思ってたでもゼネコンがバックについてたり再開発のビジネスも絡んでる俺らは本当の教霊会を知らないってことかでもよ連中を調べるってどうやってだ<笑>俺たち教霊会には友達がいたろ<笑>村瀬のことだな村瀬のとこに行く刑事アートだ I feel like by this point that man is tired of seeing us. Seeing us. Oh, hey, Gaito's with us, so that means it's only main story time. That's completely fine with me. Okay. Will they just let us do the front door this time? Or. Not? Okay, that's fine. これら刑事アートはもう慣れたもんだな。こっちだ。オッケー。ではね。ですかいとクライムダーラダーをひじゃあテレポートアップ。あ、ヒーアスオッケー。ワイダーリーブンニーとカムアップヒーアリーズジョ
やめたまねしくさってそいつからぶち殺したれえヤガミは not prepared for that やるやえいお前なんで驚いてる暇なんてないんじゃないナイスセイだよなはい<笑>やるぞタバ Want a gun on our heads? Well, it's time to repay the favor just a little bit. Do I need a little bit of heat? Oh god. Okay, that defeats the purpose of getting on my heat, but okay. Ah! I kind of felt that one coming when I was just attacking blindly while I was next to him. But okay. Let's try this again. Oh wait, this one gave me a, like all of my heat. Which reminds me... Oh, this works too. Ooh. Who brought the flash bomb? <laughs> Oh god. Ah, no thank you. All of my brain power is going towards surviving. I cannot come up with anything to say. There we go. Yeah, I think it's time for some more health, because I kind of get the feeling it gives me some defense, too. What did <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of unnecessary, but... What <laughs> you need to be a little bit of a Okay, this is much more obvious now, but when I first played this game, I thought that this guy was the host from the first chapter. <laughs> but very quickly, I learned that no, that is not the case. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> 
それは兄貴たちといるところを頭に見えるから。ああ、ああ、ああ。ハムラの頭は雲隠れしてんだ。しばらく大丈夫だろ。だからってね。大体、そいつ誰です That's a very low chair. 名前は、uh, To be fair, there's a lot of kids,、uh, kids' tools, right? Sugiura, Fumia. Yeah, Fumia Sugiura. The form to thief. What am I anymore? Kono Sugiura could be Tuskerat. Sono men Leno Camrocho no set to them to Noga Tashka Sonna no Kabut in there. Asoko Mo Nukedayo. Ima, a story. それよりお前さっきはなんであの場にいた言いたくないかいやどこから話したもんかと思ってさちょっと込み入った話でねうん僕ね前はカジヒラグループで働いてたんだ、はあ、関西の本社でカジヒラ協力会のバッグについてるそうそこで社内の IT 管理の仕事をしてたのサイバー攻撃を防いだりとかそういうシステムエンジニアってやつ An ex Kajihira guy turned criminal, huh? それでうんある日僕はたまたま経理のデータに数字の改ざんを見つけたんだ改ざんグループの幹部が何人かで裏金を作っていたわけ億単位で領収書のいらない金が隠されてたんだで僕はそれ見て面白がってたんだけどさその覗き見が連中にバレちゃったそこからは早かったよ僕はなぜか会社の金を横領したことになってクビ何を言っても信じてもらえなかったただそれでも僕は幹部連中の裏金が強礼会ってヤクザに流れているらしいことは掴んでた KJ アートはその行き先の一つでさもしその金の流れを証明できれば僕をはめた連中に仕返しができる So, Sugiira's got a grudge against k a j i h i r a g だから今日もあそこにいたのか僕はずっと前からあのビルを監視してるからね初めてヤガミさんが KJ アートに乗り込んでった時も見てたよ。You saw that? じゃあさっき俺らを助けてくれたのは何でだヤガミさん、この間一緒に仕事しないかって僕を誘ってくれたじゃない実はその時も悪い話じゃないのかなって。いつか組んでも損はないと思ってたんだ。ヤガミ探偵事務所とはさ。<笑>特にそっちのカイトさん。The music just stops. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. I'm not going to be able to get the music. モチツモタレツって感じでやるのはんヤガミさんはモグラ僕は強霊界追いかける相手は違っても結構協力し合いそうだよね<笑>そっちに連絡するときはどうすればいいこれで大丈夫でしょなんで俺の番号知ってんだ携帯を勝手に拝借したでしょその時チェックしてたから。Oh. I don't that, you know, your phone number would just be public. なんてやつだ。For your agency. But I can see why you wouldn't do that. <笑>杉浦君はなかなかいい青年だったな。あんたちょっと褒められただけでそれか。<笑>まだ信用できるわけじゃねえがよ。もうちょっとで作らいでやっていく分には悪くねえと見たぜ。かもな。まあとにかく今夜もう上がりだ。俺は事務所に戻るよ。おじゃあな。あれでセイガシもう帰るよ、あんたら。うちも今日はもう店じまいだ。そもそもあんま気軽に来んじゃねえよ
You definitely seem like you're going back to like your softer side before you were forced to do Hamura's bidding. Okay. Oh? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that uh, health upgrade. Because that does not look promising outside that door. Um, I've been trying to do these things, so I shall get these skills. Okay. Anything else? I've been trying to do some dodge running too. Um, I think for now, that will be all that I'll take. What's this? I should start uh, buying into these soon as well. Especially this line. It'll be really good to get my uh, flux treasures and charging attacks off. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh, as you can see right now, like where I'm not even trying to do any charge attacks and I'm getting knocked around all over the place. Come on. That was not the person that I went over, but okay. <laughs> Come on. Stand the ground. Oh. Ow, that actually hurt me. Okay. So, but either way, like I said before, it wasn't gonna last long. My my little self restriction wasn't gonna last long with me not buying any health, and I kind of figured. But okay, I think now is a good time to break off to do some side content because even though I said I would have wanted to save it for next chapter. I really want to keep playing the game and then not have want to, uh, not need to worry about any of that stuff until later. Come on. Whoa. But okay, with that being said, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait. Hmm? The barkeep is calling me? Hello? What's up, Masada-san? Well, we're about to get the scoop on Mari. I thought if you were free, you might be interested. Hmm? Hmm? Mari? Wait, what are you playing at? That woman wouldn't talk about herself to save her life. Maybe. But tonight's the night, buddy. Especially with you around. Why's that? Some of the regulars are playing a little betting game to see if they can guess what she does for a living. Thing is, Nobody's got it right yet, so I figured that's where you come in, detective. <sighs> and wasn't I just at Tender? You already missed me? Ah, don't be like that. There's money on the table if you win, you know. See you soon, buddy. The jerk, her the jerk hang up on me. Can't fault the guy for knowing how to make a sale, though. I guess I'll head to Tender. Oh, never mind. Um, well, yeah, I'll still keep some side content. And then I'll go to Tender. Alright, so we're now done with the side cases and friendship events that I want to do for this chapter. So, with that being said, let's see what's up with Mari. So, a nurse, right? You think a nurse could go out drinking by herself every night? They're busy and tired. Maybe you're in the press then? Mm. Ha! <laughs> I doubt journalists are so bored they go out drinking every night either. I need to raise the uh, pitch a bit. Nah. Hey! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, a new challenger approaches? And this one's a detective. Watch out, Mari. Eh? Come for some sport talk. <sighs> Apparently he thinks I'm, I'll be good at this. That's or he's desperate. Maybe I should go all set though again. You want in? It's 10,000 yen ante. Whoever guesses Mari's occupation takes this pot. Mm. If we're all putting down 10k, I want to make it a 
whopping 40k. <gasps> Don't be a buzzkill, Tuck. I, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I just got done with all the side cases, so my voice is just a little bit tired. As well as, you know, being physically tired too, but oh well, I'll just take it easy. Don't be no Vic. Don't be a buzzkill, Tuck. I think you might actually have a shot. <laughs> so, how about I make it more interesting for you? I'll bet 50,000 that nobody can guess. Huh? What? Huh? That's a lot. So the winner gets 90,000 yen? <laughs> wow, more interesting is right. Nah. How about it, Tuck? There's quite a fortune on the line if you can guess it. Oh, can I say no? Ah, oh, fine. Uh. How can I refuse? Count me in. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> You're welcome to observe. Take all the time you need. The socialite secret. So this is up. So this side case came up as a natural progression of the main story. So even though technically I should put this as a side story, it wouldn't make any sense because it's a part of the main story. Ah. Uh. All right, I guess I'll see what I can glean from her apparel and body language. Which mm. means... Your occupation, actually, is that... Um... Wait, is there actually no cat in here? <gasps> wow! This is like the second time that there's been no cat. I guess Masta is a, uh, no pets allowed kind of, uh, boss. That necklace has some expensive stone. Certainly didn't come from the discount aisle. Mm. If she bought it herself, she's doing just fine on her own. But it could also have been a gift from a guy. Then again, when she's here every night, chances are low that she's serious with anyone right now. Maybe she's already married. Is there anything I can figure out? On her that could, uh, that would tell me more about her marriage history? Oh, yes. Not even tanline. No ring on the finger. Not even a callus for one would have, uh, one would have been. We gotta assume she's not married. Nice. That's useful info. Her nails are nicely manicured. That probably means having long nails and nail polish don't know the feel of her job. The material isn't cheap, and the design is classy too. Probably a luxury wear? No way she goes through the hassle of dressing up to come drinking. But no way she wears that to work either. Could she be a freelancer of sorts? <laughs> Color is a bold choice. The safe to assume wherever she works isn't super conservative. Nothing on makeup? No earrings? Okay. Nothing but a skirt either. Okay, I guess that's everything. Your hair is dyed and your nails are done, so you clearly don't have a job that would impose rules on you. No ring means no husband. You're dressed in the nines down to the accessories. Clearly, you have money. And the fact that you're here every night means you aren't working very demanding hours. Yeah. Impressive! I know who to call if I ever need a detective. So, I'm right so far. <laughs> huh, could be. It wouldn't be fair if I told you, would it? Oh, I can confirm that she isn't short of money. I couldn't help but notice earlier. You picked your tab with a black card, right? Whoa, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Really? Could you only get one of those if you're filthy rich? Huh? Hey! How rich are we talking here? She clearly has both money and the luxury of time. Mm. Myra's occupation must be... Now... Now... Maybe? Because we know that she's not married. So... Demanding hours, so... Doctor, so I guess this. Now you're an author, perhaps. 
I guess you come to the bar to hear stories and make for great research. Interesting. No one's ever guessed that before. Final answer? Uh. Yeah, I'll go with it. Anyone else? Care to venture a guess? Mm. Hmm. I'm going to go with accountant. Yep. I'll say she's a principal of a private school. Not good guesses. I'll take a stab at her being in stocks. Real estate management. So, time to call the bet. What's the answer, Mari? Zzz, you're all wrong. Whoa! I win. Looks like I'll be taking the pot. <laughs> uh, damn it. I should be off, though. I do have work to do, though. You know? <gasps> work? At this time of night? Mm. Yep. Not that I have to go if I don't feel like it. See you around. <sighs> well, that went poorly. Ugh. I doubt we were even close. Mm. Yeah. And we're no closer now than when we started. Say, Doc, don't detectives also tell people for a living? Mm hmm? Huh? Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> oh, but I do. Why don't you see where she goes? Discreetly, of course. Eh? S seriously? <laughs> oh, that's good. At this point, I'd be willing to pay for the truth. Uh. Fine, if it's a job, I'll take it. she is. Let's see where she goes. Alright, there we go. Eh? Hey, that's... Mari. No way. I guess you make pretty good money at a high end soap plan. Oh. Hmm? Mari. Don't get the wrong idea. A friend of mine has a little thing going at a beauty salon. You knew I was following you? Yeah, I figured you would. And the odds were in my favor. Damn, she's onto me. Just who are you, Mari? I may have a chance if she's going to work now. I just have to make sure she doesn't catch me. Mari will recognize me in a heartbeat, of course. Maybe I should... I know what to do. <gasps> that means I get to show you guys this, actually. <laughs> Is this from the, uh... The second side case that I had did right after Mad Bomber. So, yeah. If you... Some of the side stories are really good, so... There we go. This shouldn't make it harder for her to recognize me. A lot harder. Though, if I make her... <laughs> Might make it a little bit too inconspicuous. Ugh. Or probably the opposite of that word. I don't know. Uh, it's, I can't think right now. See you late at night. It feels right to say inconspicuous though. Oh, no. You turn around and oh, you no see this staring at you. <laughs> don't worry about it. You're losing them, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Hmm? Core Bride. Oh! She works at the casino here. Ah. Huh. Yep. <laughs> that's... Or that's...
Alright, time to remember what key this was. Uh, this one. Double. Was that you, Tuck? Try as you might, you can't hide it. Besides, I had a hunch you might follow me. Eh? But how? I guess I need you to be the type to call my bluff. Your bluff? No. Nah. Don't you get it? Welcome to what I do for a living. You're a gambler. That's right. And a gambler only works when she's feeling lucky. That's my little secret. <sighs> I see. Makes sense. Why the idea of a betting pool excited you too. I only did it for fun at first, you know. But then I kept winning. <laughs> I guess I have a talent for it. And when I made enough money, I left office work behind. For now, you have a black card. Pretty impressive. But the others are chomping at the bit to find out, I assume. Tell you what. If I pay you, will you keep it a secret? Can't exactly have rumors spreading that I make my fortunes in illegal casinos, can I? Uh. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't want that getting out either. I'll tell them I lost you in the crowd. But I must say, you're a really good detective. Your logic was on point. What do you say? Want to see how you fare in my line of work? You might do better than you think. Uh, nah, I could also do worse than you think. <laughs> that is true. Uh, wait, so she actually here? Nah, she isn't. Okay. Well, I am here. I want to check what the awards we have. Uh, oh yeah, right. This is here. So, we have that. There's also this Tsubaki thing. And that's about it. With that being said, let's go back to the uh, ooh, excuse me, the Yagami Detective Agency. That over there is hopefully nothing else that'll pop up to to uh, to distract them. Um, huh? Okay, I had nothing to do with that. Before we head over to okay, to the. Uh, the office, let me show you guys what I've gotten too. So, I bought these two upgrades, I believe. I don't remember if this was in the main story or not. Um, wait, did I actually get anything? Oh, well, I got this. Well, but only after completing all of the batting uh, mini game like little levels and then doing an extra one that you unlock from event event. A friend event. But yeah, other than that, Nothing else, really. Let's go back to the office and what I think is the end of this chapter. Unfortunately, since I have played this game before, I'll, I'll pretty much just stay silent during this cutscene, but yeah. Uh, anyways, enjoy. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Now, enjoy. もしもし。矢上さん、あの白崎です。珍しいな、沙織さん。どうかした新谷先生がずっと電話に出ないんです。今日矢上さんと話して事務所を出たきり。うん、それで協礼会に狙われてるかもしれないんですよね。いや、大
ですあ新谷先生今どこにいる源田法律事務所のエースとして法律に関するご相談はこの新谷正道にお任せを新谷ではメッセージをどうぞスキャルテンズインのクローゼット。And that is definitely one way to leave a message. Jesus Christ. Who? But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. And that was the end of chapter 4. The names are nothing brief, but call me nothing. And I guess with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.